my god, look at you! Woo we buzz off, mister. What are you looking at? You are a chick. Jesus. Oh my god. What I've been the here before. That stink? Eddie, you puke. What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh yeah, I'm smelling it too. He <laughs> must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Chapter 7, Little Mary of Francesco Pretenza. What's going on? My name is Johnny, and welcome back to Chapter 7. This is going to be copyrighted because it's got music in it. Um, knocked almost four years off my sins. I used to come visit me, and now you kind of fill me in what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out the prison gate, it was like a whole new world. This is good music, though. I want you guys to hear it. All right, not bad. Let's go. All right, catch up with Joe. We can do that. We sure can do that. All right, let's go see what we got to do with Joe here. Exit the open the open the door. Words. We got new cars. Probably new guns, new clothes. Oh my god, look at you! Woo wee! Buzz off, mister. What are you looking at? You are a chick. Jesus. Alright. Uh let's be copyrighted music again. So I'm gonna read all to you. Vito. Hey, you've been out of the break out of jail. Oh, gee, it's good to see you in regular clothes. On the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, I tell you, a lot has changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it hasn't. Hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you said. Thanks. Now I got surprise for you. We're going to out tonight to separate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. That yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little catch so you can get things going again. I got a piece of it for you to want to it out uh, here. Always come in handy. So uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to store working with you again. Words. All right, I was worried, but they might have turned you straight in there. Ha ha ha. Now, I actually met a lot of people and I learned a lot while I was on the inside. I got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't actually sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes like always. All right, well, wait for it. Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be ready to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. It's weird because I can hear them talking well, and I'm trying to beat and go them. Meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. You got Just it. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the car. bucks. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, <laughs> all right, I get it. Okay. Like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the board. We ain't taking that thing, though. Let's do... Let's just, let's, just, let's just ride in style, baby. Just ride in style. You don't gotta, you don't gotta flex. Damn, it's good to have you. Plus, the I those other cars, man, they're so up. hard to now freaking get around handle. The sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. Really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk. Uh, about be careful, visitor. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcons lately, and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. You have. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. And these freaking things turn like ass. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check okay. the place out. It's on the top floor. Get out. I already paid the first month's rent for you. Nice. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, Let's about go. tonight. In a little crazy classic joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place looking like an ex-con. I kind of, I kind of cut him off there. Turn off light. Am I on the very tippy top or what? 
Okay, here we are. Yep. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at Ooh, no extra nice. charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. Yeah, and do what you gotta do, I guess, back in the day. Always a plus in my book. All right. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Get dressed into a suit. Okay, do we actually have a suit or we got to buy one? Where is the freaking right here? Change your clothes. See here. I should have a pants suit. Yeah, pinstripe suit. We be looking classy in a uh, friggin' dude. Go to Joe's. Dude, we just went there. We're just there. Take the magazine. Okay. They're double cheeked up on a freaking Thursday afternoon, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Back to Joe's we go. Take our car. How did Joe. How did Joe get back so fast? Be out of here, coach. These things go, dude. Oh my gosh. Right? Gonna go ahead and go around these guys. Man, these things. Good, bro. They don't turn this crap, which makes sense because they didn't back in the day either. But man, oh man, these things are a nightmare. Ugh. I just park like over here, I guess. All right, get out of the freaking car, Jesus. All right, we're at Joe's now. Open the door. Open this door. Then go up. I think he's on what the number two. We're over here. Over to that guy. Barrow. Barrow. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Man, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you hey. want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny Ooh, that's a nice car. He hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. All right. I'm going to put the little Let's restrictor go, on. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Hey, Toys to Bay. Put the restrictor on because this is not my car. I do not want to upset the guy. Okay, Plus, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the like most this. when you was in a can? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that, nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you get closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? <laughs> no, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. 
Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? <laughs> hey, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's all hey, straight Vito, come on, can step on it, eh? All right, all right, all right. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. See? What? I'm saying. Not my car, dude. Okay, we're almost there. Where are you going here? You can take a left. Okay. Let's go. Wait, where is it? Right here? Get into Eddie's car? We're here. Joe to the venue? Oh, we gotta go to like the action. We actually gotta go to like the uh, the official thing or something. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? Oh, I see it, right here. There we go. I missed it. You couldn't walk there, it was only literally around the corner. Definitely copyrighted again. I'm sorry, guys. So I talked to the Leo Gonto about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about this shit that Clemente tried to pull up on you. Or pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work, eh? I mean, we all got our reasons. Between, well, uh, because, uh, you know, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no. Yeah, look, I figured nobody was gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, scram, baby. Oh, my God. Let me listen, I work for Carlo Falcone, and you, uh, you're looking for to expand our operation. He's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to expand the f offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right, bright future together. I'm drinking too much tonight. I got some business to take care of. <clears throat> Still copyrighted, guys. Sorry. No, not really. Carlos is a really smart guy. He's into, uh, you know, astrology. Astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> Excuse me, F you effing cocksucker. Sorry, ladies, looks like I gotta go. Shut your goddamn paw hole if you want us to use your mouth. Oh, if you want to use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Vito. Yeah, let's go. Jeez. They're a mess, aren't they? I'm going home. Good night, you whores. All right, back to the car. Go get into Eddie's car. Hey, where the hell is my car? Why, well, somebody stole it. Hey, I'm in the car. hey, call the fucking cops, man. Drive the Joe. You're Joe's. staring at it, you lush. Get in. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah. Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> Gonna get in the car or? There we go. Jeez. 
My goodness. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what I've been the here before. that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. He must be it. Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. The worst to figure. All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> okay, so my guys, I gotta take got a it shovel? In. Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. He's in a turn. There we go. That's where the hole is. The cops. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench bag here is fucking killing me. Maybe you should, like, open the window. I saw a straight stretch here. Okay, then take a ride up here. We're pretty much going to that one doctor's house oh, on the hill. Oh, stop. Maybe a little bit now, longer past that. Now, I'm Your car, dude. You do what you gotta do. Cause I ain't freaking picking it all up. Uh, too late, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, Christ, Eddie, that, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, uh, but that smell, plus the other smell, the only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. What she could do, because, well, you know, you do get drunk like that, you do have the tendency to sometimes poop yourself. I haven't had that happen to me, but I have definitely seen one person in my life do it, and or pee himself, so... Hey, we should be getting pretty close, honestly. I don't really know for sure, though. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. What? what? Are you joking? I wasn't even going that fast. I have literally sped. Like, past cops. And never gotten them on me. See if we can lose them up here. Come on. Faster. All right, we're here. Is that gonna freaking let us have the. Is it gonna take the cops away? I hope so. Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's just great. Uh, <clears throat> disgusting. God damn it, no shoes. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. He fell in it. Dump him in. I just freaking. <laughs> Fine. Uh. Done. <sighs> Okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. 
Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Fine, either. whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but Good it's nice night, out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. In Eddie's car, I'm gonna drop him off a bit. Eddie, are you coming? Are you already okay, thank God he's in the car. Jeez. Hey, the drunk's back to Joe's. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car <laughs> here so he can get home <laughs> in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! Look you had enough, some Eddie. Girls, You're going to bed. Get Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. All right, guys, we're going to call it right there for episode number five. That was a chapter seven. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition and or Man Eater Mob, uh, Mafia 3 and Modern Warfare 2. So, got so much to choose from. Okay. Um, see you guys soon. Yeah.